Another short section, 2.7, the simple magnifier. And here we're gonna take a convex lens and use it to uh, magnify something close to the eye. So if we look at uh, basically what a simple magnifier does is it takes some object, say I have some object that I wanna look at, which is uh, B, and I want to magnify it, um, it is going to create a virtual image of that object, which my eye is then going to uh, create a new image out of. So you can see here that uh, the image created by the eye from just the object alone would be smaller on the retina than the image created by the virtual image created by the magnifying glass. Now we define the amount of magnification as being the angle that the image subtends compared to the angle that the object would subtend for that same configuration. Again, this is what we're looking at with the simple magnifier. There's nothing complicated here. We have a convex lens. This is going to basically provide us with our virtual image. Our object is seated right here. And now um, looking at this, we draw the ray, okay? It's going to go through the focal point after coming in parallel. So it comes down right here. And then we take another array. We go through the optic axis. We just go straight. We trace that back in time. Again, we get our virtual image. Our image converges on the same side as the object. And clearly it's magnified. So what the eye will then do is it will be the second optical system. And you know that you can use an image as an object for a second optical system. Here, the eye will, will take the image uh, of the magnifying glass and produce a new image on the retina. And that, of course, will be magnified. So um, once again, the uh, object is sitting right here. Um, if we, I place an object at the near point of the eye, okay, it's gonna subtend the greatest angle. So anything sitting at the near point of the eye is going to be the closest thing that I can focus on, and it's going to produce the largest focused image here. So I essentially want to do the same thing with my converging lens. I want to create a um, image that becomes the object for the eye at the near point. And again, um, if I do the calculation and I say that my uh, distance, my image distance is going to be 25 uh, centimeters. I can come up with a maximum magnification for this um, magnifying glass as followed, where one plus 25 centimeters over the, um, the distance as my magnification. So again, here are my two um, possibilities. Uh, the smallest magnification that I can get would be 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the lens. Uh, but for maximum magnification, that would go to one plus 25 centimeters over the focal length. Now with a single lens, you could probably get away with um, an angular magnification um, to about four without too serious of a magnific uh, too serious of, of an aberration. But uh, when we're using multiple uh, lenses, maybe up to, to 20 times, but here you can you can start seeing the edges of this field are experiencing uh, quite a bit of uh, distortion. It's quite a bit of aberration. Up in this corner right here, clearly we can see some chromatic aberration. So um, what we can do with a magnifying glass, it's, it's good for um, maybe creating moderate magnification of small things like gemstones, but uh, any magnification beyond 20 would really be useless for, for something like this. And we really have to go to a compound microscope to see any uh, smaller 